Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the second video of this Webflow video series. Today we are going to start out a new project and the video today is about the structure of a website. Um, I think creating like a structure is the first thing that you have to think about when creating a website. And by starting out this new plain project, we can really dive into uh, like page structure. What we have in the beginning is our body page. So the body is basically the part which surrounds all of the elements that you will add. Um, when you click on the add tab, we can select a few things like a section. A section is a, an area or a box basically that has a full width. So we created this section and if we go to the styling page, we see that there is an auto width and it's just like the full width of this website. Um, we have this section right here and in this section we can add some more elements. So for example, we could say we will add a container. So we have the container and the container already has some kind of margins to the left and to the right. And in, the, in this case it's automatically set. And this helps us to have like a space of content um, already in the center of the screen and also um, like responsive when creating a like mobile or like when creating a, a responsive website. Uh, in this first container right here, we could also add columns. Columns let us uh, space, columns let us, columns let us uh, create different areas within such a container or a section and we can add different amount of columns like in this case we have two three four or like how we want to separate it we could even say if we want to have like a, a navigation on the left side then we select this option in this case in this column we would place the navigation and in this column we would place our uh, actual content but i'm going to delete the con the, the columns and we are simply adding a title for our website. In this case, of course, it's a heading. And the heading is inside our normal body. But I want it to be inside our section and maybe inside our container. And of course, I want it to be inside our container because of the uh, centering. And we can say that this is, for example, max. And this, because it's my portfolio um, that we are creating in just a really simple way, we can set it to max. And when going back to the styling page, I'm sure we will also be able to center it in the page. So if you want to have like a centered logo or text, then you can just uh, select the center alignment. But I'm going to not do this right now. I'm going to stick with a left aligned text. The next thing that I want to do is to create a paragraph and we can simply do it by dragging it into our content and placing it below our heading, just like that. You see, we are getting some example lorem ipsum text, which is already kind of good. So we don't have to write it down right now. And we can select some of these options right here to increase the text size and we can also increase the uh, line spacing to have a better readable text. I'm also increasing the font size of our logo. I want, I want to make it really big, make it really large, just like that. But you see, we have some problems with the spacing right here. I guess we have to go for a larger spacing right there. So increase the margin at the top to Oops, increase the margin at the top to 100 pixels and the margin at the bottom maybe to 50 pixels. So that will look way better. And you can also jump into your text. You don't have to work with uh, all of the text right here. If you, for example, want to select one of these words, then you could also add a text span, which will allow you to add, for example, a color only to a separate 
to a single word. So you just double click the word and you can simply also, for example, make it bold um, or as I said, add the text span and change colors, change font size, etc. Uh, so you don't have to change all of the other content right there. So for example, I know people and other designers which created who created such an introductory text and they use different colors uh, for, for example, their Twitter profile, their Tribble profile, Facebook and so on. And they uh, created a beautiful introductory text using these colors. So what we already learned is that we have a body, we have sections, we have containers, which is this part right here. We also have a heading, um, paragraphs, and we can add uh, different spans inside such a text paragraph. Uh, of course, we could also simply say, for example, if we are like really crazy, that this E letter should be a single text span. Now this allows us, of course, also to work with, for example, different font weights, different colors and so on. So if your logo is requiring something like that, you can even do this as well. Um, I'm going to go back. This was just to show it to you. Go back another time, another one. And um, right now that we created this like heading structure right here, we could add some more things. And if you think that this is enough for the header part, then we could simply add a new section just below our current section. Um, to create another section, you have to select the body and to create a new one, simply select the section from this panel. Right here, we could now, for example, add a few buttons and they could lead the, the visitor of our website to a contact form, for example, or to our primary portfolio. So we have the section right, right here. I'm going to add a container, of course, to it. And in the container, we will now add two buttons. I'm going to say that I want to add two columns because I want two buttons and we can add a button to this first column. Okay, um, I'm not going to link it right now. I'm more into the styling for this moment right here. So the color of the button, it should have a, for example, like purple background color and the text inside of it should be white, just like that. The font size could be increased a little bit. So maybe we go for 20 pixels and the button width could be 100%, which it will expand it um, using the full width of the column. It's not working for the height. Um, and I'm not like an HTML expert, but uh, it will work if you use pixel amounts just like that. So then we have this right here. And what we can also do is to, of course, uh, increase the padding a little bit and center our button just like that. Of course, the button or the text within the button should be aligned in the center way. And this is the portfolio. So it's easy and we can add a, another thing like, for example, a shadow, which is this one. It should be dark and the blur should be bigger. The size should be a little bit smaller, just like that. And I want to decrease the visibility a little bit. So let's change the opacity of it. Maybe let's decrease it even more just like that. What I want to do, of course, is to add some more spacing. So I'm going up again and the spacing should be increased just a little bit, maybe like about 20, 
20 pixels. And what I'm going to do now is to copy this button to the right side, but I'm going to create a class because uh, if we want to, if you want to reuse this button and of especially the styling of the button, um, then why not using a class? Because if I paste it inside of here and if I, for example, change the font size to 40 pixels, oops, sorry, we have to select the button. If I change the font size to 40 pixels, okay, so it automatically created a class. I haven't uh, recognized that um, because this is the contact and the font size was 20 pixels. If you want to have a different color, then you need to make sure that you have a different class. So we need to rename this, I guess. So this is uh, button two. And uh, this is button two as well, but I would like to change up the class that we are in. So that means, so to change the color of this one uh, without changing the color of the first button, we need to change the class and we are going to duplicate the class and give it a, another name, for example, button three, or this is, yeah, I'm going to call it button three because uh, this one's button two, even though it should be button one, button two, of course. Uh, and we can now that it's a different class, use our tool right here to change the color, for example, to a gray one or to a different color. Uh, we could also go, of course, go and use like a red one as we used it in this text above. Um, I'm not going to create like a rainbow website, but uh, I think you got what I did right here in this, for in the second tutorial actually. Uh, we worked with a few classes and we managed to create a very simple header and some buttons. And of course, uh, we can also add a rounded radius um, simply select all of these and increase the value just like that. So that will give us the ability to have rounded buttons. And I hope you liked this tutorial. This one was about creating some first things, some first structural elements, and also the first small content of this uh, really simple website that I'm going to create to try out Webflow. Once I got all of the features done, once I really learned all of the different aspects of Webflow, we are jumping into a real project in which I'm going to create a cool portfolio for myself. Um, but this right here is just like the beginning and a simple version that we are going to use for all the different elements and for the exploration of Webflow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time, guys, and we see us in the next one. Bye. We the best music. Another one. DJ K. Yeah, you're looking at the truth. The money never lie. No, I'm the one. Yeah, I'm the one. Early morning in the dawn. Know you.